Hey friends, it's Jess. I am super duper excited to be streaming again tonight for our weekly installment. <laughs> um, so I figured that tonight we would work on turning some more backgrounds that I previously made into finished cards. Hey Dee, sorry about the little bit of adjustment going on here. I'm trying to make it so that my... Uh, background isn't super crooked. <laughs> uh, sorry if anybody gets motion sickness. I figured you would maybe rather look at a little minute of adjustment rather than a whole live session of um, awkward camera. Hold on. <laughs> it's such a delicate balance, you guys. Maybe? Uh Hey friends, <laughs> uh, D, we're not talking about that. I think I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's at least better. Um, it's a little hot in my room right now. Good grief. Okay. Hey Heidi. Hey Carol. Hey Bonnie. Hey B. Hey Dina. Hey Gail. Hey Trudy. Jenny. Angela. <laughs> oh my gosh, Game of Thrones. Hey, Rachel. Um, okay, so earlier today, you guys, I posted on Stamp Junkies group on Facebook about a friend that was in my craft room. That's what Dee is talking about. Um, I was trying to work on editing some videos and all of a sudden, <clears throat> I felt something on my feet and I looked down and I didn't know what it was, so I looked back up. And then it moved, and I looked again, and it was a freaking lizard. A salamander, I don't know. <laughs> it was a skink, I guess is what they're called. Um, and I'm totally fine with them, like, outside. Um, but inside my house, and on my feet, literally on my feet, I almost died. Like, I jumped up onto my chair, which is not sturdy, you guys. It is not made for that kind of, um, that kind of abuse. <laughs> I jumped up on my chair on my feet, and I screamed probably like three times. And luckily, my husband was randomly home today. Usually, he's not home during the day like that, but today, he was home. And uh, so, yeah, he came to my rescue and captured the lizard. Um, no, Trudy, they're, the ones here are only blue-tailed when they're small. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, bear with me. I am currently trying to adjust the air in here because I feel like I'm boiling. It is so hot. Hi, Lynn. I'm in Virginia, too. <laughs> um, maybe if I turn down the temperature, it will, like, kick on. Hold, please. <laughs> it's so hot in here. But it's like not doing anything. Hold on. Uh, and my son has been changing the settings all day. I don't know. Anyway. Hopefully it starts doing something. Why did it go to 77? No. Okay. I don't know, you guys. Whatever. Hopefully it'll kick on here in a minute. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. So, there are some backgrounds that I've made in previous lives that I really wanted to turn into some backgrounds. So, I mean, they're already backgrounds. You guys, why do you watch me? I'm a crazy person. I'm, there are backgrounds already. I want to turn them into um, cards. <laughs> projects of some sort. Um, so this one you might recognize if you guys saw my guest design spot for Ranger. I actually used this one. Um, I recreated it for my tutorial so that I could show like a step-by-step -step whatever. So I have this one that I used for that card, which is right here. This is before I did all the splatters, but this is the same. Oops, it's upside down. This is the same background as this. Um, so I did the same technique for that, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> D. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, it bit her? 
Wow, that's crazy. But yes, that lizard has me distracted. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that that was a thing. Like, and my husband caught it in a glass bowl and then took it outside. My gosh, I'm getting the hiccups. Um, anyway. Okay. Hey, Belinda. <laughs> hey, Ivalice. Um, okay, so we've got this background. We've got this one that we made in another live, which we did by using the Simon Hurley um, flower garden background stamp, and we just applied his inks directly to the background stamp. I may sneeze, so I apologize in advance if that happens. Um, my nose is a tickling. <laughs> um, we have this one, which was just a straight stamp in, um, so it's the same background as this, but it's in the woof color of gray. Uh, from Simon's line. We also have this one which was stamped with painted lines and then I did some ink blending and I also distressed the edges using like a paper edger I think is what it's called. Um, and then this one is just some ink blending and then it also has um, a little bit of a like a watercolor lift effect or a ghosting sort of effect with the flower garden stamp set. It's a little harder to see because it's pretty faint um, but it is definitely there, so it adds some texture. So these are the backgrounds that I have that I was hoping to work with tonight. Um, we can do pretty much anything, and we don't have to exclusively use Simon stuff, but I do have it here um, to be used. So um, we definitely have options there. I've got like this whole stack of <laughs> this whole stack of stuff because I've been a messy crafter lately and I um, I have not been putting my things away very well <laughs> or cleaning up at all really um, and so my craft room is a disaster so I've got the stargazer stencil this is a card that I made um, cheers you did it uh, just combining the backsplash stencil some ink blending and then um, some of the sentiments from a couple different uh, stamp sets <laughs> um close your eyes and pick something <laughs> um this one is called backsplash so this is the stencil that we used on um one of the cards that are one of the backgrounds i just showed you and then we have looks like rain um we also have the whole collection of inks so we can definitely use those um and then of course the uh stamps themselves here we've got some good options um and then somewhere around here. Let me grab the background stamps too, just in case we want to use those again. All right, so these are the two that I have. I have painted lines and flower garden, so I have both of those. Oops, let me grab the inks too. Um, here we go. All right, so there are 12 inks in this line all together, and I have everything linked below to the best of my ability. Um, also, you guys, have you seen, this is totally off topic, but have you seen that new project, a uh, product from scrapbook.com where it's like a clear acrylic container that holds your, um, it holds your little, um, one or two inch, not one or two inch, half ounce or one ounce bottles of stuff. Um, and it, so you can see what it is. Um, hold on one second. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about because it's so cool. <laughs> um, hold on one sec. It's like really one of the coolest things I've seen, which is really, I mean, it's really super neat and it will look really pretty on your shelf, which is awesome. Okay, so this is, yes, it's upside down. Yes, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, thank you for the, <laughs> the card with the snail. Oh, sorry, Trudy. Apparently, I don't know why it, why is it deleting your message? Hold on. Uh, hold on one second. It even deleted my own message. <laughs> so something's a little weird. Hold on a sec. <laughs> it deleted my message too, so there's that. Um, let's try this. This is a really long link. Sorry. Um, oh, stop posting links. Oh, was there a, um, maybe there was like a period in between something and it looked like a, oh, scrapbook.com. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, sorry for the long link anyway, but I guess it wouldn't let me, um, 
it wouldn't let me post that short link for some reason. Okay, anyway, um, I think it's super cool. I don't know if you guys had seen that or not, but it looks so pretty. Um, it makes me want to get some. <laughs> I have uh, my Nouveau drops and stuff like that on an acrylic shelf, um, but that thing seemed really super cool. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? Let's see. Um, what do you guys want to do first? We have options. <laughs> and like I said, we don't have to exclusively use Simon's stamps. Um, since we're using these backgrounds, we can definitely couple them up with some other brands if we want to do that. Um, this might be cool. Let's see. Um, hmm. Either on one of these more plain ink blended. Oh, I think it cut it off. It like, um, when the link is really long, it shortens it. Well, it basically just says like dot, dot, dot. And then if you hover over it, I think you can see the whole link or something like down at the bottom. I don't know. Anyway, um, I was looking, oh, at family dollar. Oh, okay. Um, this one, Carol, is this the one you mean? The red, like the sunset sort of looking one. Uh, background number three, stamp number two. Oh, D, you're gonna have to give me more than that. <laughs> I don't know which one, which which way you're numbering. <laughs> um, so yes, the sunset. Okay, I hear yes on the sunset, so I'm gonna put that one over there. Um, oh, she says no, the flower. Well, we can use both of them. We'll make two cards tonight. So we'll use this one first, and then we'll use the flower one. Um, okay, so we have some options. Uh, we can do. I think like this uh, tree might look cool. Um, let's see. Oh, you like the tree? Okay, we can use the tree. Um, maybe we can combine the. Okay, let's start. Let's start somewhere because I feel like I get a little bit. <laughs> I get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes when I try to think about too many things at once. <laughs> um, you guys know me probably by now. I get a little overwhelmed. Um, all right. So we've got our little tree here. I don't know if my mini Misty is large enough for this, is it? Let's check it out and see. Um, the only thing is, if I want it to kind of go off the side, I need to line my paper up. Um somewhere different let's see it's not gonna be quite as easy as lining it up in the corner um, but that's all right okay but yeah I get a little overwhelmed <laughs> if I have to pick a lot of things all at once or if I have to like try to figure out an entire card background or, or like a card layout because I am more of a um, kind of like craft by the seat of your pants sort of crafter and um, yeah <laughs> um, oh trouble making cards with floral backgrounds okay um, we can definitely work on that one next uh, May May stamp Ooh, which one is it Trudy I feel like I've been missing a lot with people's releases and like what stamps are coming out. I need to put in um, a May May order soon so that maybe maybe the one that you got will be on my list. <laughs> oh yeah, grab and go for sure. Oh yeah, Jessica, you get overwhelmed too. <laughs> yes, I feel like there's just too many options and I feel like I... I, I'm not very good at planning in advance, which kind of sucks, but but it's true. So, oh yeah, they do feel really busy, Carol. That's true. Um, I sometimes struggle with that too because I, I don't, this is my problem with backgrounds. And this is what happens with my, um, this happens with my gel print backgrounds also, which is basically that I like the background. I created a pretty background or a pretty something. And then I don't want to do anything with it because I like it and it's, it's either like too busy so I don't know how to put anything on top of it. I don't know. It's just, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, okay, so we have some options. 
We can um, try to do some coloring, although it's not really going to show up super well on this. Or we can kind of let... Um, sorry about my sinuses, you guys. Um, I don't know what it's... So probably what's happening is I was sick. And then I got sick again, and then I got sick again, like, before I could really get better. And then now it's spring, so the sinuses and, like, allergy stuff is coming back. Ugh, it's a bad combination. Um, okay, so we've got our tree. <laughs> we've at least started somewhere. Um, um, hmm. I really like the tree and I don't necessarily want to, these are a little, okay. So this background feels a little less whimsical to me and I kind of want to maybe not go with some of the more whimsical stuff because I feel like it kind of, I don't know, it's not the right mood. <laughs> I do really like this tree. Um, so let's take a look at some of the other sets that we could pair it with and see if maybe something stands out. Um, so we've got a birthday set. Um, this month is a wide flower strip suited for making gatefold cards and lots of sentiment strips. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, I really like the little heart thing here. That's super cute. And there's a bee down here. I think that's really cute. We can, at the very least, add that. Um, that sounds really cool, Trudy. I'll definitely have to go check it out. I have a, um, I need to put a May May order in soon, so. Um, okay, so. Uh, all right, we've got a tiny little bee, which we can put kind of like coming out. I don't know if you guys can tell what this looks like, but um, there's a little heart uh, and it looks like a bee path, you know what I mean? So then we can put the bee at the edge. Um, and then, let's see. We've got I'm Here For You, um, Rain or Shine, I Forgot My Caffeine to the Best Person Ever. I'm trying to see if we have maybe any um, smaller sentiments that we might be able to use from other stamp sets if we use that I'm Here For You. Um, you've got this, we've got, um, congratulations, I believe in you, uh, hmm, let's do, do you want, let's do I'm here for you and then I believe in you, because like, look, we can kind of play up the believe like I believe in you that's cute right <laughs> I'm gonna say it's cute let's go with that <laughs> um okay so I'm gonna plop that tree back on there for now I like to mix and match stamp sets a lot because I feel like it stretches your supplies a little bit more um, you can get a little bit more out of it when you do it this way because you're not limited to just one style or one thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this stamp here. Try to get it lined up as best as I can so it looks sort of straight. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, I keep all of my brands together. Uh, do you mean like all of the supplies or all of the stamps or what? Um, I keep generally, my stamps are alphabetized by brand and then within the brand they are, um, within the brand they are alphabetized by the name of the stamp set. That is so cute. Um, that is so cute. Um, so... I store, okay, because I'm on the Brutus Monroe design team and I have a lot of their stuff, I do keep my Brutus Monroe stuff separate because I use it so frequently and when I create for Brutus Monroe, I usually only use Brutus Monroe products for the most part. Um, and so I just find that that helps me to be able to find, like I don't want to have to go dig out all of my Brutus Monroe stamps to be able to look for them. I want to know like, they're right here and that's all I have to do. I don't know. It's just easier for me that way. 
Um, but then, um, like brands that I'm not designing for, I usually just keep separate. I hope that makes sense. Um, or I mean, keep together. Gosh, I'm not making any sense at all. Brands, <laughs> brands that I don't design for, I use, I keep separately. Um, no, I am doing the worst job at explaining this. Okay, brands that I do design for, I keep separately. Like, so I keep all of my Simon Hurley inks together on a shelf and then I keep like all of the Simon stamps, uh, background stamps and stencils together so that when I want to use his stuff, I can just use them together. Um, and I don't have to worry about like digging through five different places to use them. Um, but that's because I guest designed for Ranger and I use these products extremely frequently. Um, because I just enjoy them. <laughs> um, but like I have a bunch of Altenew, for example, but I don't keep those ones separate. Um, those ones I just keep in my standard stamp storage, which works for me. That is so cute. I love it. You guys, this is adorable. Uh, Simon does not have a design team, but I guess design for Ranger. Um, so he, his, his products, um, they are through Ranger. So he has his own line, which is called Simon Hurley Create. Um, but it's through Ranger. So Ranger is the one who helped him develop it. Um, and so I guess design for Ranger using Simon's products. So I usually exclusively use his stuff. Um, and I have some cool, um, I have some cool stuff coming up for you guys. I have one spot per month usually with Ranger. Um, and I just had my first one posted, um, on the 4th, I think. If you guys haven't seen that, let me know and I can give you the link at some point tonight. Um, so you can go and check out my, uh, guest design spot with Ranger. Um, I really, really like this, you guys. That's so cute. I think I might add, let me grab my Copic multi-liner. I think I'm going to add like two little extra dashes right there so that it goes all the way to where he is. Cause I stamped it a little bit farther away. Um, but I think that will help kind of tie it together. So that's super cute. Um, but now I'm not sure I want to add the I'm here for you. Um, hmm. Um, all right, let's see what else we have. Jump for your dreams. Sorry about the stamps everywhere. <laughs> they are everywhere. All right, that's. Um, I made you a card from all of us. You deserve a treat. Mm, not really any of those ones. And then you've got this. Maybe something smaller like you've got this. I think I like that better. I originally wanted to use the I'm here for you, but it's just a little big. Um, and I'm not really feeling it as much as I thought I would. Um, so let's pull out you've got this. So what I'm thinking is I might put this one on a strip. You guys know how I like my strips. <laughs> um, okay, so let's hold on on this one. I'm gonna trim this, this down so that I can mount it on a white card base. Um, let's see, what are we at here? Yeah, so we're gonna trim about I'll trim a little bit off of both sides because I'm not quite happy with either side. So I think this, this should help. Kind of even things up again. You had an expo, Ivelisse? What, what was it? You had a couple of orders. That sounds awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I definitely want to trim off the top of the tree. So it looks like I'm going to do all of my vertical trimming from the top. This is gonna be really cute, I think. I really like this. That ink blending with just like the little bit of texture on the background is really super cool. Um, okay, so we've got that. And then we also have a 
white card base that I'm just gonna fold down so that I can kind of start to get an idea of where things are going to go. It kind of helps me figure out where I want to place other sentiments and whatnot. Um, oh, that's okay, Gail. You probably can't hear me, but <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think that's gonna be really cute. I love that the white makes it pop a little bit more. It makes the color really vibrant. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little, you guys know I love my black strips. So I think I'm actually going to, yes, I do. Can you tell me, um, I've probably asked you this before but I cannot remember, is it Dinah or Dina? I think I say Dina usually, but um, can you tell me if I'm totally butchering your name or if that is not even your name at all? Just tell me. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I always hate not knowing how to pronounce people's names. Um, so, or like what to call them. Just die. Okay. <laughs> um, that way I can call you by the right thing. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, set this down. I'm going to leave a little bit on the edge over here in case I want to make it into a banner or a little tail of some sort. And then, you guys, I got a little baggie. I don't know if you guys were here or if I've done a live since I got this. I'm not really sure. Um, but this one is the Ranger one. So I've been testing it out and seeing kind of what I think. Um, so far, so good. <laughs> uh, I hope it seems like it's helping because I haven't had as many incidents, if you know what I mean, with my embossing powder. Um, oh, thanks, Trudy. Scout night. Oh, no. Uh-oh, buffering. Um, it looks okay on my end, but tell me if you guys are having trouble. Um, okay. Okay. Let me know if anybody else is having any connection issues. Oh no, it's a little bit crooked, you guys. Um, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna restamp this because it is pretty crooked. Um, but the cool thing is I can just like buff it out <laughs> with this cute little pad. Um, I'm gonna try. Oh, it's good. Okay, cool. All right. Um. I hate it when I get it crooked because I feel like it's straight, but apparently not. Let's try this. <laughs> uh, that's, mm, I don't think that's straight either. I'm like trying to line up the tops of the letters of the top of the lowercase part. Good grief, you guys. All right, let's try that. <laughs> Hopefully it's better this time, my goodness. It's hard sometimes to tell if you're actually in the right spot. Um, embossing ink, that's what I need. That's better, however, I'm a little worried about it sticking to some of the other places because there might be still some ink on there, but we'll see what happens. We may have to start over like on the other side because I think, yeah, see it's got like kind of a double look. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take my little paintbrush and brush off so I can save as much powder as I can. And I'm just gonna flip it over, but it looked like it was, um, it looked like it was more straight. So at least we know that the positioning is okay and I can just turn it over and stamp it again. That'll be fine. Okay. Trial and error. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh, Ivalice. <laughs> I hope it turned out okay. Were you able to save any of it? <laughs> Did you make a um, dedication page for it? <laughs> Because obviously that's the cool thing to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope it turned out at least sort of okay. Whoa. Did you guys see that? I just like flung embossing powder everywhere. No big deal. 
Oh, I forgot that this had, whatever, it's okay. <laughs> I forgot it had stuff on the back and there I went dipping it right into the stuff. Whoops. No, no dedication. Oh no. I'm just using that paintbrush to get off a little bit of the excess powder because I've been getting really frustrated lately because like all my embossing stuff has little white flecks everywhere and it just doesn't look as crisp as I would like it to. Um, so I'm trying to clean it up just a little bit. I want something to look okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. You guys know what I'm going to do? Just because I can, <laughs> I'm going to use my Windy Vecchi Make Art Station um, to do my heat embossing because then I don't have to worry about burning my fingers. I just put my little heat uh, resistant mat. This is my really super dirty craft mat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my embossing tool, uh, my heat gun, and then once it's nice and hot, I will be able to go ahead and emboss my sentiment and it just stays right there, <laughs> which is awesome. All right. So cool. Now you do have to be careful just to make sure that it's not too hot. Um, but I haven't actually had any issues with it. Like it'll be slightly warm, but, um, it's not hot. At least it hasn't been for me yet. Like I can just touch it and it's fine. Cause I'm not using the heat tool for a long time. Um, and I think that helps, but yeah. Um, so now we have our cute little, uh, sentiment strip that we can add on. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So, oh, that kind of looks cute too. I wasn't really thinking about adding a strip like that, like across the whole thing. Um, but that kind of looks cool. It was the green one. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they are. Those ones are retired. That is hard. Ugh. All right. That looks awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then I can just add a couple cute little accents and then this one will be done. We can leave it pretty simple. I think that's really cool. Um, let's do it. I wasn't planning on um, leaving the whole strip, but I'm kind of digging it. Whoops. Um, so let's, let's go for it. <laughs> I do have a little bit of... Um, powder over here. Okay, actually, you guys, I am going to use my um, Make Art Station again so that I can actually line this up straight. Um, so what I'm going to do is line it up and make sure it's even as far as where it's placed right now. I'm going to pop a magnet down on the top and I wanted it around like right here, I think. So I can go ahead and line up my little ruler slide it up just a little bit there um, because this has adhesive on it already I want to be sure of where I'm placing it so now I can line it right up like that and I can make sure that my sentiment is perfectly straight you guys that is so awesome worth it to get this tool that is so cool <laughs> that's so awesome oh hey Simon we're using up some backgrounds um, that I made in previous live videos because I tend to accumulate backgrounds. Um, and so I wanted to try to use up some of these. Uh, I'm obsessed with this little bee. Like how stinking cute is that? Seriously. <laughs> that is adorable. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and mount it here. I think though that I want to add some foam to the back and I've got just like random sheets of fun foam so I think I'm gonna use orange because I don't usually use orange very often in my colors um, so we can go ahead and 
Oh, Lynn, totally. Um, it is the Make Art Station from Wendy Vecchi and Ranger. Um, so it's brand new, but you can get it from scrapbook.com or Ranger. It's linked down below if you want to check it out. Um, I think scrapbook.com has it for like $17.99 for the whole set. So like the magnetic board and the ruler and the four magnets. And it comes with the hardware to hang it on the wall if you want to do that, which is so cool. Um, so this foam is just like craft store foam. <laughs> um, and I like to use it to pop up my, um, my backgrounds or my card fronts, I guess, because they are, um, ooh, they are sturdy, you know, like it's going to pop up the whole background and it's, and it's really inexpensive. So that's always a win in my book. You can just get them at your craft, your local craft store. Um, I'm sure there are places that sell it online also, but I just pick it up um, at the, like in the kids craft section, honestly. Yeah. So this is quarter inch double sided tape from scrapbook.com. Um, this is their exclusive brand of it. So I, well, while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and put it on this side too. So basically for the foam, I just put it on both sides, peel off the backer, and then I can stick it right on to my card, which is super duper fun. I just like that it gives it a little bit of dimension without being like too crazy and also not having to use up like all of your foam tape. <laughs> um, Cause I know foam tape can be expensive and um, it just takes a long time. I don't know, this is pretty quick. And these are generally, um, sometimes it sticks a little bit to the foam, but generally speaking, they're pretty easy to get off and peel. Okay, Jessica, see you next time. Um, oh, by the way, you guys, so Matter of Crafts is, her name is Jessica, and she is going to be um, participating in another live stream event that I'm going to be doing that's hosted by Tiffany Solorio. Um, so those of you who turn, uh, tuned in for A World of Heart, you guys might be interested in this. Oh, Bonnie, that's awesome. Um, so on National Scrapbooking Day, which is on May 4th, may the fourth be with you, <laughs> um, which is also Star Wars Day, just saying, um, there is going to be another live stream event. It's not going to be a 24-hour event because that is a beast to figure out and plan and that took months um, of planning but there is going to be a live stream event and I'm going to be participating um, so it will be people making scrapbook layouts and layouts in general of like just um, different mediums where you can preserve memories so like it includes a photo and it's some way to document a memory of some sort um, so if you guys are interested in that, that will be going on, on May 4th. I think my time slot is like 6 PM Eastern. I'll have to double check and let you know, but I think it's around 6 PM Eastern. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated as that gets closer and we'll talk about it more. Also, scrapbook.com is having some really exciting stuff going on for National Scrapbook Day. So make sure that you stay tuned for that because they've got a ton of sales and giveaways and freebies and all kinds of cool stuff. So, oh yeah, dedicated to mixed media. Yeah, that would be really cool. The only reason this one is scrapbooking is just because it's National, National Scrapbooking Day. <laughs> um, so, you know, that makes sense. Um, whoop, whoop. Okay, cool. So I think that this will be good with just a couple of clear sequins. Nothing fancy, but just a little bit to give it a bit of sparkle. And then we'll call it good. Um, so I think like one up here. Oh, thanks, Fatima. I dig it. I think that's perfect. And then that will be one card done and we can move on to our floral background. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm really glad to use up the backgrounds that I've been creating because 
I do tend to hoard my backgrounds, which gets really frustrating because it's like a never ending collection. I keep getting more and more and more and then I, you know, I like to make them, I enjoy making them. But then I run out of time and I don't make a back or I don't make a card out of it and then they just sit in a drawer or something and it's so sad. <laughs> um, look at that, that's so cute. And I think it's so adorable because this is like a kind of a play on this. Um, believe in you, you know, I don't know. And we can always use more encouragement cards. So this is a win in my book for sure. And it's so simple. It's so simple. <laughs> okay. Yay. All right. We're done with our first card. Now our second background that we want to use is this one. So this is the floral background. Um, can you record it directly in YouTube? What do you mean, Ivelisse? <clears throat> I'm not sure what you're asking. Tell me again so that I can answer you. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what you mean. Hey, Karen. Oh no, you weren't able to find it, Di? I don't know where they sell them, to be honest. I heard that you could get them just like at your craft store, but when I went, they did not have it. Um, it's from Doris, that's the brand name. Oh, that's okay, Belinda, see you later. Hugs. <laughs> Hug your mama for me. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll put this here so that we have that, so we know what kind of what we did. Um, when you enter YouTube, you have that option to record or go live. Yes. Oh, no, I don't, I don't, um, whenever I look at it, it says, um, good night, Bonnie. Uh, whenever I look at at it it says upload a video or go live I'm not sure about record I don't know um couldn't find it oh no that's such a bummer I'll have to see if I can find it anywhere I mine like I was telling you guys was given to me <laughs> um someone my one of my crafty friends gave it to me oh yours says record oh that's interesting I'll have to check that out I'm not sure um okay so this background we made in one of my previous lives, when I first got the Simon um, line, like all the products that I purchased, um, this is the flower garden background stamp. And what we did is we used Simon's inks, which I have right here, um, there. <laughs> uh, and we just tapped the ink directly onto the ink pad and then, um, I'm sorry, onto the background stamp and then used it in the stamp positioner to stamp out kind of this like watercolor -y, crazy background. <laughs> um, it's called dye. It's called, it's from Doris and it's called pop-up bead storage. I think it's not for sequins. Usually that's just what I'm using it for. I think it's for beads. I'm trying to do a video of a piece I was making, but I don't have enough memory. Oh no. That's so frustrating. Um, okay. So we've got our floral background. Now, one of my favorite things to do with backgrounds like this, where they're more busy is to use vellum on it so that it covers up part of it. And then you can do something on top of the vellum, which I think is really super cool. Um, so what we can do, I'm going to take a look and see, um, I want to pull out the letters. Um, because I'm trying to think like what we could spell that's nine letters with these letters. Um, <laughs> so, hi Michelle. <laughs> thanks for joining. I'm glad that you could be here while we're live. Um, thanks Dawn. Um, okay, so I need you guys' brain power <laughs> to think of, are there any words or phrases that we could use that are nine letters long using this collection of letters? <laughs> and while you're thinking about that, I'm gonna grab some vellum because I need a new sheet. I just cut my last piece earlier. Okay, there's that. So we've got our vellum. <laughs> oh, you always forget about vellum. Let me go run those through an unscrambler. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, all right, so that side's a little bent. Let's trim it down. All right, I'm thinking maybe like mm, two and a half for the width. 
Um, let's try it. We can always cut another piece if it's not quite what we want. Mm, that might be a little thin. Let's try three inches just for giggles. Um, all right, three and then, gosh, what would that be? So three is one inch shorter, so 4.25. No, wait, yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I felt it coming, but it was too late. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got our cute little piece of vellum. I think that's going to be perfect. And then, so we can put the vellum here, right in the center. I'm going to trim this down a little bit just so that it fits our card a little bit better. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we've got our vellum. The cool thing about the vellum is it sort of mutes the background a little bit. Um, so you have more options as far as like putting something on top of it or whatever, we have more options. <laughs> um, it just tones down a busy background a little bit and gives you um, a little bit more wiggle room with what you can do on top. Um, okay, so I haven't been thinking about anything, but uh, we could do, let's see, because we can fit about three letters probably. Um, H-E-L-L-O-Y, oh no, I was going to say like, hello you, nine letters preferably, but it doesn't necessarily, I was thinking like three on each line, and it can spill, it can be more than one word, if we want it to be more than one word, <laughs> um, lovely, <gasps> we can make lovely, ooh, L-O-V-E-L-Y, well that's six at least, um, okay, let's see. We could always turn it, okay, if we did that, we could always just turn it this way instead of having a vertical card. We can turn it sideways like this and do L-O-V-E-L-Y maybe. Hmm. Um, now we do have some options also because we can do two things, which I might do both, okay, yeah, let me know while I'm getting things ready if you have more and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is, what did I say, 3 by 4.25. Um, so we would cut this one to like 2.5. Is that 3.5? No, that's 2.5. All right, 2.5 by... Um, 2.5 by... 3.75 gosh I hope this is right <laughs> I'm just trying to give it like a half inch less on each side but I still want the um, proportions to be the same so when I lay it on top we should have a fairly even square all the way around or a frame all the way around sorry um, yeah I think that's pretty good okay so we have this option which is that we can put our letters in the center Okay, I have to warn you guys, there is a chance that we may lose connection um, because it's starting to thunderstorm. So if for some reason there's like a big lightning strike or something, I don't know, I may lose you guys and I might not be able to get back on. But um, I mean, it seems okay for now. It's just a little bit of thunder. But I just wanted to at least warn you. <laughs> um Hold on one second. I'm going to mute the microphone for just a second, but I will be right back. Okay, sorry. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me. I had to blow my nose, and I know you guys did not want to hear that. <laughs> But it was better than me constantly sniffing, um, so hopefully you'll forgive me. Um, okay, so you are lovely. That would be cute. Okay, good. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Storming there, too. Oh, my gosh. It's a little crazy because it was like 80 degrees today, which is nuts because like a couple days ago, I think it was like 40. It, the weather's been bouncing back and forth crazy. Um really loyal valor I think I like lovely best especially with the flowers that kind of seems to go nicely um, 
All right, so we will need an L. Now we may have to stamp some of these a couple times. Um, L, O, V, L, O, V, E. Oh, it looks like we'll only have to stamp the Y more than once because <laughs> um, there are enough letters of the other letters to make it work. Um, now we could, it looks like instead of doing the, the, um, we may be able to make this fit. I don't know. It might be a little cramped. I'm sure it would probably be fine. Um, let's see. Cause I'm pretty sure we have a UR from another stamp set of Simon's that we can put at the top, like UR and then it'll just say lovely. I think that's gonna be really cute. Okay, let's do that. Um, I think it'll look really cool with the like rainbow sort of background to have like a more graphic print sort of look at the front. Um, so let's do it. Here we go. I'm gonna try to turn it this way and see if, um, I don't know. <laughs> Where's the Y? It, um, Oh, I thought I had pulled it off already. Apparently we can stamp this whole letter or this whole word by itself. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> For some reason I was thinking like something about like we had already used the letter over here, but obviously we have not. I'm so glad I have smart people like you. <laughs> um, sometimes I wonder about my sanity a little bit. Just, just a little. <laughs> But you know, it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> oh well. This is like the hardest part is just trying to get all the letters lined up straight and like evenly spaced. It also spells Hurley. What? That's so cool. Simon, did you, are you still here? Did you know that? Did you put that in there on purpose? <laughs> That's so cool. That's really neat. <laughs> oh my gosh, Heather. <laughs> a 27 year old, oh my gosh. Ugh, oh, that's hard. I'm not doing so hot here. <laughs> I have no idea if these are gonna be straight at all when we actually go to stamp it. But I hope you guys will forgive me if they're a little crooked. I'm doing the best I can. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain. It's coming down really hard. Uh, okay. I don't think it's quite straight, but I think it's probably as good as I'm gonna get. Let's see, if I turn it this way, maybe I can, oh, well that's cool. It looks like I can just line it up right here on this little line. So, well that's actually quite handy. Cool. <laughs> they were all just slightly off. You guys will tell me if I spell a word wrong, right? I'm pretty sure this is correct, but sometimes in the heat of the moment, <laughs> things get a little crazy. Um, Simon, that's so cool. <laughs> it was a happy accident. Oh no, I'm a little bit off the edge here. My Y is too far out. I gotta scoot that bad boy in a little bit. Which means now I have to kind of play the shuffle game and scoot everything else over again. Beep, beep, beep. That's pretty cool. Oh good, it's correct. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. That's really cool, Simon. <laughs> That'll be a really fun one to use. I expect a shout out. No, it wasn't me who figured it out. So um, Heidi gets all your shout outs um, <laughs> if you decide to do that sort of thing um, because I'm not even the one who noticed it. <laughs> all right, so we're just using the anti-static powder tool. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, let me fix my little piece here first. All right, there we go. 
Heidi, she's the best. That's true, she is. <laughs> she's the one who actually introduced me to the sticky grid from Sizzix. <laughs> um, and I love that stuff. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, I'm going to do it one more time because it looks like my V didn't quite get as inky as I would like it to. There we go. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I wonder what's going on with my V at the bottom there. There we go. That is so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get our embossing powder, which I've lost somewhere on my desk. <laughs> you guys don't even want to see my desk right now. It's a scary place. Um, I've got a coffee filter. Whew. And my cute little container of tasting spoons <laughs> which I just use to scoop out the powder makes it a little bit easier especially when you have these larger containers when so like you don't have to dump it because it gets all over the edge on the outside and I don't like that um, you guys know I am a little bit of a neat freak about certain things I'm also a really messy crafter so it's kind of a weird combination but it is what it is. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do my best to get the extra powder off here in just a second. It looks like the majority of it is on the outer edges, so I'm totally fine with that. And this is Ranger's white embossing powder that I'm using. I have this, uh-oh, this giant container of it. All right, let's get our little paintbrush out. You thought I did what? Oh, put, you thought he put his name in there on purpose? It's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> I think that's so neat. Now I do wanna try to keep this as crisp as possible because that's kind of the whole idea behind this style of design is to have like a really crisp black, um, like pop of vibrancy on or like a contra like a contrast I guess is a better way to describe it between the white and bright floral background um, and also between the black of the cardstock and the white of the sentiment itself um, so I want to try to clean it up as best as I can if I can't get everything that's okay um, I can also go back in with a white I mean a black uh, Copic multi-liner and um, touch it up on top of the spots that I have trouble with but it looks pretty good so far um, let's see all right let's get out our make art station make art stay <laughs> I told you it's never gonna get old it's never gonna get old um, all right, let's put that up there. We're gonna put this little guy here to hold us down and turn on the heat tool. Here we go. It is a little bit crooked, but it's all right. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it the, spelling your name, Simon, and that you didn't realize. That's so cool. Like, what a happy accident. <laughs> it's not quite as hot as I should have had it before I took it to my uh, panel here, so it is getting a little bit warped, but that's okay. All right. Might be a little hotter this time than it has been in previous times because I did leave it on just a little bit longer, but it's still just kind of warm. Um, not anything crazy. It's not going to burn me. Um... Oh my gosh, Simon, isn't that so cool? I think that's awesome. Um, I had, here it is, I was gonna say I had, one of those handy dandy little Swiffer cloths that I keep next to my desk for just such occasions as when I need to get all of the dust or embossing powder off of something. Works great for glitter, embossing powders, all kinds of stuff. And you can just clean up your desk really fast. I like it a lot. Okay. So I am gonna trim down this panel, but now we've got our lovely, I think that's gonna be so cute. Oh, this is gonna be adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and trim this down. Um, let's take
take a little bit off of this side. It's an Easter egg you find months later, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> See, we never would have figured it out if I wasn't sending you guys on some strange um, unscrambler word quest to make some word out of these letters. <laughs> Now it looks a little bit more crisp. I really like that. Um, we can go ahead and layer these on top of one another. I think what I'm gonna do is pop up um, both of them on, I'm gonna adhere the black piece to the vellum, and then I'm going to pop the vellum up on a little bit of foam um, so that it gives it some dimension and a little bit more interest. And then we can figure out also what we wanna do about, well, actually, before we do that, why don't we figure out the rest of our sentiment? Because, I don't want to add too much. Um, okay, so we have your, so that could work. Um, we could just put it right back in and add it at the top. I think that'd be cute. Um, oh, that's gonna be adorable, because look how small it is. It's perfect, I don't know, I really like it. Quest? Oh, yeah, Quest. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? What quest? <laughs> it's something I said, isn't it? Sometimes I start babbling and I forget what I've said. So sometimes you might have to remind me. <laughs> Someone will say something in reply to something else I've said. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? And then they have to remind me and I'm like, oh, right, right. <laughs> that thing I forgot I said already. Um, all right, we're a little crooked here, so let's fix that. Let's fix that for sure. I love teeny tiny sentiments. Too. Ooh, that's even worse. I lined up the bottom of the um, the Y with the E, so it was like totally slanted. <laughs> oh well, worse things have happened, right? Does this look like it has glitter all over it? What is going on right now? It looks like it has glitter on it. It does. It's like gold glitter. I don't know what's going on right now. Apparently my um, <laughs> apparently my embossing bag is full of gold glitter. I must have used it on something already that um, has gotten it all dirty. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I'm missing something vitally important and that is my embossing ink. Here it is. Whew, I'm a hot mess, you guys. Let's ink up this itty bitty little tiny sentiment. Oh, and I had an idea, you guys, that I want to try out, which will be a little series, kind of a mini series, really, because it's not going to be like anything crazy, um, but sort of like a little mini series called Simon Meets Simon, <laughs> um, where I want to use Simon Hurley products with Simon Says Stamp products, um, because I think that's so cute. I don't know why I think that's so cute, but I do. Um, so that is a thing that's on my radar right now. I want to make a little series called Simon Meet Simon. <laughs> um, and then hopefully those products will work really well together, which I think they will. Because um, Simon Says Stamp has some really super cute... Um, the old show Simon and Simon. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some research. You guys, there is so much gold glitter on this. I can't. I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but something, something happened. Oh. oh, also, this is totally unrelated, but the other night, my husband and I got to have a date night, and we went and saw Captain Marvel, um, and we really liked it, by the way, but also, um, we are going to, I think, have a little date night tonight, after I'm done, obviously. Um, this is so cute, by the way. I really like this. Um... I like how tiny the your is with the lovely. I don't know. I just think that's really cute. Um, anyway, so my husband and I are going to have a little date night tonight where we um, watch Spider-Man, the newer one um, with Tom Holland. So we're going to rent it on Redbox and watch it. I'm excited. Hooray! <laughs> it should still be a little bit hot, so it shouldn't take too long to heat up. There we go. Perfect. You guys, I'm really excited about this. All my cool new tools and all these fun products. 
I am so excited. <laughs> like seriously though, I'm really not sure what's going on with the glitter, but our, um, our panel here is a little bit bedazzled, as my husband said in my video. Have you guys all watched that? Um, <laughs> my recent uh, card making video in which my husband did my voiceover. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. He said things like bedazzle and told people not to get too aggressive when ink blending. So... <laughs> Um, I die laughing every single time the video starts because like when I go to look at comments or whatever when people have left comments the video automatically starts playing and every time I die laughing when he says hey guys it's not Jess <laughs> uh, because that's hilarious to me <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny but it really is and he's mortified like he's really super shy um, so it was hard for him to agree to do that, but he did because he loves me. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I was actually really surprised by how much he knew. Like he knew about Copic markers and he knew about ink blending and he even said smooshing. <laughs> I was like, oh, he does pay attention. He does. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, anyway, it was kind of like a proud wife. Yeah, he knew Copics. It was so funny. But then I laughed so hard when he was like, um, and now just a couple red freckles or something like that. But I was actually coloring her tongue. <laughs> like I didn't put any freckles on her. Um, but it was just, it was hilarious. I <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> And then, like, at the end, like, he's just like, and there you go. Thanks for watching. And that's it. He just, like, didn't say anything else. <laughs> it was really funny. I don't know. To me, it was really funny. People seem to have enjoyed it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, about the rain. You can put it sideways if it's really hard rain. <laughs> Why is he so crazy? <laughs> and then he said something about, like, oh, you have to adjust your umbrella or something. I don't know. He's crazy. <laughs> um, let me kind of bend this. Oh, when he said, I think we're not happy. Yeah, he was like, uh, lift it up. See if we're, see if we like it. Um, apparently we don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. It was just so hilarious to me. <laughs> you guys, I really like this. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I really like this. Look how cute this is. I love this. This is so cute. Um, all right, let me grab a card base real quick. Hold on, because I need one that opens. <laughs> I need one that opens vertically. Well, top folding, but a sideways top folding card. Landscape, that's the word I'm looking for. Landscape. Hey, Louisana. We are making some cards out of backgrounds that I made previously. We're turning them into cards. <laughs> I think that is so stinking cute. Ah, and you guys know I'm gonna add a couple of clear sequins because that's just how I roll. I love it. Carol, are you still here? What do you think? <laughs> You've totally got this. You can add your letters or whatever giant sentiment, anything like that, on a piece of black. Put some vellum, pop it up on some foam. Um, totally cool. I hope it helps. <laughs> it's at least one example of something you could do. I really like how it's kind of like the graphic sort of look. I don't know, because it's so black. And it's so rainbowy, sort of colored in the background. Let's add a couple sequins and call it good. And then we will have created two cards in only an hour and 10 minutes, you guys. Can you believe that? <laughs> what is this life? I'm usually the slowest crafter ever, and we've actually managed to do some stuff. <clears throat> the letters are from Simon Hurley's stamp set called Space Training. You know I've been using that one a lot. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and I think we're okay if we kind of put them overhanging on the vellum a little bit like that. Gives it a little bit of sparkle, but it takes it a little bit out from the sentiment. So it's not quite so crowded. I think that's good. Cute. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I don't know that I would have thought to do this on my own. It's kind of interesting the things that I do when I'm making cards by myself, like when I'm not on a live and then when I'm on with you guys, because I, I don't know, for some reason the creative ju juices flow a little bit differently. Um, and I come up with different things when I'm live with you guys, which is really awesome. So these are the two cards that we've made. Yeah, because I had the backgrounds done already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but still, but still, <laughs> um, I think that's so cool. So now we've got two cards all ready to go out of backgrounds that we already had made. That's awesome. I love it, you guys. Um, okay, so I think that is it for me tonight. I am having my date night with my husband, like I told you guys earlier. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to stick around too long, but um, if you guys have any requests for any things that you guys want to see in future videos or live streams later this week, um, just let me know. I do have, actually, a sneak peek that I can show you of my card that's going to be on the Burtis Monroe blog tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to sneak this in here real quick. Um, this is my card that is going live at midnight. Look, it's so shiny. <laughs> um, I really like how this one turned out. I thought it was so cute. Um, but yeah, so this one will be going live on the Brutus Monroe blog at midnight. So be sure to pop over there and give me some love or come hang out on my blog, um, which is acarddayswork.wordpress.com. I will exclamation point blog it. <laughs> there for you so that it pops up the link in case you want to follow my blog. Um, but you guys can always find me on social media at A Card Day's Work. Um, I always really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, it always really helps me if you guys leave comments and thumbs up um, so that YouTube knows that you like what you're seeing and they will help suggest my videos to more people. Um, that always really helps me. And if you share too, that helps me as well. <laughs> um, if you guys ever have questions or anything, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys again on Wednesday. Um, and just a reminder, we are in the process of buying a house right now. So we are going to be like packing and moving. Um, so eventually, um, it will be like shorter. I'm going to try to keep going live as long as I can and pretty much throughout the whole process. Um, but my supplies may get a little more limited as I pack things. <laughs> um, and I may have a shorter amount of time available because I'll have to be packing and doing all that stuff. Um, so just a reminder. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you liked anything that you saw and you're inspired to purchase anything, I do have links down below. It helps my channel out if you purchase through them because I do get a very small commission if you guys use those links. Um, so it's always super appreciated if you do that. Um, if not, that's totally okay too. <laughs> um, hugs and love to all of you guys. I love you all so, so much and I will see you guys again.